Welcome to Well Run Mama's YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us. This is the last in our video series and we look forward to seeing you in the new year with a whole new lineup of fun and exciting videos. Hopefully you're doing lots of self-care this holiday season. You're being good to yourself. You're spending it with people that you love and tolerating the people that you don't and <laughs> rewarding yourself for those moments. This last video that we're doing for those of us who are just joining us, Feel free to go back, watch those other videos. Rebecca will share those links. My name's Sherry. You're joined by Sarah and Cora and Tori and Good Tiffany. Day. We are all home birth midwives in Las Vegas, Nevada. We also all own a maternity center named Well-Rounded Mama in the Las Vegas area. And so we thought we would go out by sharing what we love the most about our job and some of the sweetest moments that we could think of. There's so many. The babies. The babies. Yeah. <laughs> what do you love the most about your job? The families. Mm -hmm. I love the families. I like the moment, like I think like my favorite moment is when the baby comes out and getting to see that like new family kind of fully form. form. That's my favorite. Uh, my favorite. I like, I don't know why. When the dads old. tear up too, like oh, the moms. The I was just going to say oh, that. The, the dads dad. always love cry. The dad. When the dads cry, I'm like, Keep it together. Keep it together. Oh, I cry every time. <laughs> when it's family members too, even yes. I, I noticed like one of the gals and I've been her midwife for a couple of her kids and her she's got a twin sister. And every time her twin sister comes and cries, I can I have to be like, be professional, be professional, be no, professional. I cry. <laughs> it's so hard to not cry, cry at some of those moments. For sure. For sure. Yeah. I also think what I love, I think it's the relationships that for we sure. form with the clients mm -hmm. for sure. I think in the last video, we covered kind of the drawback, but I think when we do actually are successful at empowering families. Oh, yeah. And that just makes us feel like we've created that space for that individual yeah. to discover who they are. Because I think we knew who they were the whole time, right? Right. When they're like, oh my gosh, I did it. We're like, we knew you could. Yeah, right. <laughs> like We never yeah. doubted that you yeah. couldn't do it. Right. Yeah. I just had a client. Did I tell you this? She, a super cute client. Her husband is from Italy and they have a fig tree that they've brought mm -hmm. over from Italy and they sprout it and they keep it in the family oh, and they cool. brought me piece a of piece it? of it. Oh, I know that I, I mean, that's one of the sweetest gifts I think I've ever so gotten because now I feel so like connected sweet. to them until I kill the fig tree. <laughs> don't kill it. Don't kill it. Very <laughs> likely. <laughs> don't kill it. It's very you likely. Have kill the plants. You have to take care of it like a baby. You come over and take care of it. You have to keep that fig tree alive. Oh my God. No pressure. But I think those relationships are great. I think empowering families is probably one of the sweetest jobs. I think too, the relationships among birth workers, I think yeah. the way that we feel about each other down here is very family feeling and yes. they understand they get to see the whole of you yes they get to see your heart I think in their its yeah. entirety so many people I think in human beings lives in general just see bits and pieces of you whether it's the best piece the worst piece when you share a practice with midwives and doulas and stuff it's like a marriage of sorts yeah because um, you're seeing each other on your worst days your best days your ups your downs your lows all of it and so I think the relationships here are some of my sweetest moments for sure yeah. <laughs> we've already all said it but that moment of a mom accomplishing something that it's hard there were times that she didn't think she could do and then when it happens and the joy I don't think there's ever a time where you can feel that much joy like you yourself that is not even doing it the joy that's in the room and the love that's in the room, it's almost like you can touch it. Yeah. yeah. It's just so big. It's just like a little like cherry on top it sometimes is. when dads catch. Oh, oh yeah. I like love that sometimes too. that's when they can pull it together. I even had one dad catch his baby and then immediately go into the bathroom and puke. Actually, I think that's happened a couple times. Yes, that <laughs> happened with one of my clients. Yes, remember? we were that's together. What I was say, I think one happened with yours. Yes. I've had a client. He that did, did pull that. it together, but then he lost yes. it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> but he did it. <laughs> but they did it. That's going to be an amazing, you know, story, story. that they get to bring for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, your birth stories you remember forever. That's one of the things I think as a midwife, you get to be part of somebody's forever. I always say I like to be, like, I'm so honored to be a part of this woman's journey, journey. into motherhood. Mm -hmm. Like, it's such an honor. It really. never gets old, that's for sure. No, Even the hard sure. parts just 
it does ever... make up for it, right? That moment where mom looks at you and is like, I did it. Like, it's like, okay, I I'm glad did. I got up at two in the morning for you. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I grumbled walking out the door, right? Yeah. No matter what the hour is, once I yeah. get to that house, yeah, yeah, I yeah. never regret a moment sitting there. No, no. for sure. Well, Even when it's been... Moment. A it's false labor, or I've never credited yeah. that time spent with individuals in their homes, which I think is what makes our job so unique is we're yeah. going into individuals' home at a time they are the most vulnerable. <laughs> Tiffany does love all the babies. I do love all the babies. The They're <laughs> chubby cheeks. I know. I want when the they babies. come in to see me and I'm like, oh, you're so cute. I guess why you want you. I just want to eat them. <laughs> I know. But then I try to be good and be like, I don't want to snatch your baby because that seems mean. But I really do want to hold your baby. <laughs> <laughs> I never assume people want me to hold well, their baby. Well, I know. That's what I'm and saying. So like, I, I never, like, think it's ask, so funny. Sometimes like... people are like, you want to hold my baby? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now that I have your consent. Yes. That no, well, that's great. what I'm saying. It's like, I never want to, like, come up and snatch your baby. Yes. But there's but a I part of do. me. There's a part of me that thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Give me a baby. Give me your baby. Give me all the baby. I love the babies. They hold me off in between pregnancies. <laughs> I know. I'm like, it's like a little bit. Like, I'm like, oh, okay. You can hold me over just a little bit. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. Thanks for spending the month of December with us. We really enjoy making these videos and getting to share a little bit of our ups and our downs and the things we love and the things that we wish were just a little bit better. We've really enjoyed you allowing us to come into your homes and being a part of those moments. We're so grateful for this calling, this lifestyle, this career. We get to do what we love and anybody yeah. who gets the opportunity to do it, our love is just truly, genuinely Blessed, blessed human beings and we hope that you go into the 2021 my daughter keeps saying to me will 2021 be better and i'm like no <laughs> <laughs> keep it real. I don't so know. we're just gonna keep it real but i think this year has been such an amazing time of reflection and sure. knowing what is important and who is important making sure that we scale back and we don't forget the things that mean the most and that we put our time and our energy and our effort into the things that mean the most and we let go of the things that no longer serve. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, all of the things that have come up this month. Goodbye, See you 2020. next year. <laughs> Peace out 2020. Bye. 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 <laughs> Now we're getting tired, and tired core I keeps know. yawning over there. I, I keep know. yawning too. Oh my god, I'm like, I'm just hiding yawn. I still have more appointments. Stop yawning. I'm so sorry. Take a deep breath. <sighs> I realize I hold my breath in these videos. I always forget, and so then I'm like, oh, my body's like, you need oxygen. Breathe. <laughs> oh my gosh, just breathe. <laughs>